Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. This is Christopher Drabs. You. And this is Matt Weiss. Yay. Oh, crap, <laughs> you got it. You got it. Alright. Um, who, who, who are we sponsored by, guys? These guys. Hockey Locker, 2002 who's West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, yeah. Wisconsin. <sighs> you can get all your hockey needs. Uh, hockey gear, referee gear, figure skating gear, all your... Ice skating apparel. You need inline skates too. You could get this nice shirt. Yeah, it's a jersey. You could get you could get this nice jersey. Yeah. You could get a Predators uh, white jersey. Yeah. I don't know if they have the yellow Road one. jersey. Yeah, I don't know if they have the yellow ones in stock right now. Um, I'm gonna have to go down there. <laughs> yeah, let's go buy stuff. <laughs> well, it's kind of white. I'm pretty sure. Wait, well, so Dan, if you were to go down there, where would you find this uh this haven of hockey material? Uh oh, oh. Address. Hmm, what oh. is the address? 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But you yeah. guys can see that right here well, on you the should screen. Look at the it says camera right up there. Yeah. Yep. And you can call them at. It's 414 800 7585. Or visit them at. HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. So easy. All right. So, in our first video today, we got two coming today. <sighs> nope. Wait. We, yeah, let's we, uh, cover that Wolves uh, Admirals game. Do we have to? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> oof. Yeah, oof is putting it lightly. Yeah. Um, but let's get it over with. Let's rip this Band-Aid off already. Well, uh, it's not a good outcome. No. Um, it just wasn't. They outshot us 30 to 17. Which is strange because we, we were maintaining in net and in defense, too, for up to two periods and then for a huge, colossal third period collapse. Yeah. Which, what in the world happened? Yeah, I was, Ingram had a shutout going. I was seeing people... You said it? Yeah. I was seeing people, like, livid and just saying that they watched this game on AHL TV and just threw their arms in the air just like... I know this what? one. Yeah, it's it. I'm sorry. This is one where this is an unacceptable like loss. Yeah, yeah you're the best team in the league, and you sure as hell didn't play like it tonight. Haven't been playing like it this whole month, believe yeah. it or not. Outside of that game against Rockford. Yeah, those was it. Those pretty much the that last Illinois road trip. That was that was it. Like you were talking like what seven goal games? Yeah. Near set or like I don't know what they shot for Chicago, but I remember the last game was seven to two with Rockford. That's seven and to both, three. And both teams seven to three, tonight were zero for on the power play. Uh, yeah. Milwaukee was zero for two, and Chicago was zero for three. And usually we excel on the power play, and we have one of the best power play units. Well, Dan, carry it away. All right. So scoring in the first was Michael McCarron with his eleventh, with an assist from Alexander Carrier and Tanner Janot. Uh, Carrier's 28th and Janot's 12th. Then we have, in the second, Ellie Tolvanen, his 14th, with an assist from Mika Salabaki. Um, then in the third, it was all downhill. Yep. No. Um, we had Gage Quinney with his 14th, with an assist from Brendan Peary and Curtis McKenzie. Uh, Peary's 18th and McKenzie's 20th. Then we have uh, Dylan Coglin with his 7th, with an assist from Jake Lasician. And Lucas Elvinus, uh, Lasician's third, and Elvinus is 29th. Then we have Valentin Zikov, his eighth, with an assist from Jake Bischoff, his sixth, sixth, and Patrick Brown, his twelfth. Then Cody Glass scored his first of the year with an assist from Lucas Elvinus, his thirtieth, and Nicholas Wall, his fifteenth. Then Time Again scored his fifteenth with an assist from Cody Glass and Nick Hague. Glass is first, Hague's fifth. Empty net. All. All of these goals in the third. That and from from the nine minute into the period to uh, the last seconds of the game. Yeah, that's that's three good. stars of the game were Gage Quinney with a goal, Lucas Alvarez with two assists, and Valentin Zikov with the game winning goal. Right. Um, in net for Chicago was Oscar Dance <laughs> stopping fifteen to seventeen. In net for the Admirals was. Connor Ingram stopping 25 of 29. Their defense looked very similar to Nashville's over the last span. 
Seems that the club's kind of switched tonight, but that's yeah. the, uh, Nashville's another story for another video, which is coming up. Yep, uh, attendance at the Allstate Arena was 3,229. Our referees were Stephen Renault and Sean Fernandez. Uh, linesmen were Riley Bowles and William Hancock. So three out of the four were the same from last night. Yep. Um, so up next for the Milwaukee Admirals is the Manitoba Moose on Saturday. Um, so far, they are 2-0 and against the Moose out of the seven meetings we have with them. So we're going to be playing them a lot. Yeah, the mm -hmm. last meeting was on November 27th. It was a 6-3 uh, Admiral victory. I, that was that school day game. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the benefit of these, like just to talk about the, the rest of the remaining series with the Moose, this could be the perfect opportunity for catch-up. Like, if, if Manitoba's uh, underperforming this much as they are, this could be the opportunity where the ads can snag a couple of Ws, like, and just get that insurance back, maybe. Well, the other thing is, is as long as we win in our division against teams that are close to us, yeah, we can afford to drop to Manitoba, but not to Iowa. Right. Yeah. So it's just those things you gotta win against the teams that are right behind you. Which after this series, well, after this weekend series with Manitoba, we play the Iowa Wild on Wednesday back home. Correct. All right. Well, uh, leading scorer for the Manitoba Moose would be Seth Griffith, 19 goals, 15 assists. And then we have uh, J.C. Lapon, uh, 12 goals, 15 assists. Then and, we uh, have. Uh, uh, which one was Skyler McKenzie, nine goals, 14 assists, and then uh, CJ Seuss, uh, 13 goals, nine assists. Um, Curtis, uh, Christian Veselainen, I believe, is out with an injury. He has 10 goals, 15 assists for 25 points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. The Moose, they're on a uh, what is that? Uh, what is it, a three-game losing streak currently yeah. coming into this? All yeah. um, most of the uh, third, third, in the last five, they're one and four. Yeah. Wow, all, the last five games the Moose have played have all been against Illinois teams: three against Chicago and two against Rockford. And they lost both games against Rockford. Yeah. Um. So upcoming for that, I'm gonna take a look at their goaltending, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, then we can wrap it. Yeah. Oh, why do they do this? When you click on stats, they always send you to players. A quick shout out for all the Admirals games. A lot, all those like for anybody that's wanting to listen to their games out of uh, out of state or out of region of Milwaukee, they're all on iHeartRadio through uh, what is it? The Big Nine Twenty usually is the is the radio station. Yeah, I do believe. So if they're not on there, they're on like any of the iHeart was it iHeart Media Milwaukee stations. And yeah, the best thing about it is that you get on the website the iHeart. Was it iHeartRadio? Or you, or you go on to their mobile app, and it's all free stuff. Same with our ECHL affiliate. They've got free radio, too. So it's just a matter of looking up their app and listening. All right. So let's just talk about it, okay? Their starting goaltender is Mikel Berdine. 38 games played, uh, two shutouts, 103 goals against. Ouch. Ouch. With a 2.84 goals against average, 18 wins, 20 losses, and a .912 save percentage. Then we have Eric Comrie, who is their backup, which is, which is weird because he was playing in the NHL earlier. Yeah. Uh, he has a 2.63 goals against average, a 7-7 seven and seven record. That is total between Manitoba and, I believe, Tucson. So Manitoba, he is three and seven, with a two point five nine goals against average, with a point nine one nine save percentage. See, this explains why he kicks the was a kicks the net in the crease so much. Yeah, so that's coming up next. Uh, we play a back to back against them. Uh, we play them again on Monday at two o'clock. Well, you don't want to talk about your favorite goaltender of all time on that squad. Even though I don't think he's with them anymore. Oh, Griffin Outhouse. Yes. He yes. 
If I were to buy a Moose jersey, it would be a Griffin Outhouse jersey. You heard it, everybody. He wants to buy a Moose jersey. Maybe you I can said if. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can order it at Hockey Live. But you have a specific player in mind already, so that's pretty close to wanting it. If you have a player in mind. But, all right. Let's it's all good, though. Let's wrap this puppy up. Yeah, I, I, we should win this, man. If we lose oh. to the Moose, there's definitely an issue. Yeah. And the Moose is last 10, they're 3 and 7. Yeah. Yeah, if we lose to the Moose, there's an issue. And again, oh. just with the, like, keeping an eye on Iowa, they're only 9 0 0 and 1, only losing in the shootout recently in the last 10. So. Our, our lead it. in the division shrinking. We have 75 yeah. points at Iowa at 68. So we, we need, have to gain some ground. We need to get through this February and put it behind us as fast as possible. Yeah, please do. Nice. Yep. Because um, March is coming and March is uh, playoff crunch time. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, uh, there was one transaction today. Yakov Treader was sent to the Milwaukee Admirals by the Nashville Predators. He was not seen, nor did he play during the third period. He was not on the bench, so therefore either injured or got called back up. Hey. Mm, we'll see. We'll keep you posted. As of right now, nothing. You know how I feel about this. All right, well, it's a center home, shall we? All right, so our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, yeah. 2002 West Howard Avenue. They're your one-stop shop for all your hockey needs right here in Milwaukee. Um... You can call them at 414-800-7585. Or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Or you can go to their store at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Daniel, this is Chris, and this is Matt. And we're from Milwaukee to Nashville. We will see you guys later on. Take it easy.